everyone, it's Noelle. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you all my patented, very own Long Swords Nonsense build. Um, this is a build that came into existence around January of this year um, when I was kind of making fun of long swords, um, how, you know, they're kind of bad, no one ever builds them, and some wonderful people in my Discord uh, crunched the numbers. Uh, and they actually found out that long swords get pretty solid value for how cheap they are. And I said, hmm, I wonder if I could make a build that actually utilizes them. So I went about trying to create long swords nonsense, the build that you see before you today. The idea of the build is to use um, a stronger economy behind the cheaper unit um, and the huge uh, early castle age power spike that it enables um, if you time it correctly. Uh, to essentially do a huge early castle age push and end the game. Um, but the nice thing about it is that it's kind of flexible, and if you need to play past that point, if that doesn't end up working, if you get somehow um, shut out of ending the game right there, um, you can play past it, uh, and you don't actually sacrifice so much to get into this... Um, build in the first place. So it's really strong. It offers a lot of really good pressure throughout Feudal Age and Early Castle Age, and then it kind of allows you to play onward if you need to. So I think it's quite strong. I, I like it a lot. Um, it's one of the main builds that kind of carried me up the ladder a bit when I was floundering around 1k. This is probably a good place to put a disclaimer about my elo. Um, my maximum lifetime personal best is 1200. Um, so, you know, I'm not a professional and I'm not the end-all be-all authority on this game, um, but I think this is a pretty good build and I think it's interesting and non-meta and I thought it was worth sharing with the world. So yeah, if you try this, um, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of it, how you think it could be improved. Um, what changes you make or would make or anything like that. So the way this video is going to go is there's going to be a little voiceover section of me just doing the build, um, showing just the fundamentals, the basics of how it's done. And then a, um, a clip of a, not a clip, a, um, a, a, a game that I played on stream where I did this, um, build, uh, not exactly, exactly, but, uh, very much followed the opening and um, the same spirit. Uh, and I think it's a Serbs is a pretty solid example of this sort of play style um, applied in a real competitive game. Um, so yeah, all the timestamps for that will be down in the description below if you want to just jump straight to the build or if you want to jump straight to the gameplay, um, you can do that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the build starts pretty standard with two houses, six on sheep, um, and then four to wood. After that, you'll want to lure your boar and go up to eight on the boar. After this, you'll want to build two houses, get a mill, and go to four on berries. A tip I learned when building my two houses in this step is to use two of my woodline villagers to build one of the houses and the first fill that goes to berries to use the other. This way you never get housed. Remember you may need to force drop food from the boars while you're in this stage of the game to make sure your TC is running the whole time. From here put two more on the boar. After this you send two to gold, click loom, and then click up as soon as you're able. Immediately after clicking Feudal Age, you'll want to take one of your berry villagers to build your barracks, and I mean immediately. If you time it correctly, you should be able to get the barracks up just in time to build three militia right before you hit Feudal Age. Once you're in Feudal, you'll want to pick up double bit axe and the men at arms upgrade. This way you can use your men at arms to put pressure on your opponent and continue to develop your eco at home. When your sheep fills finish, you'll want to send four of them to wood on a new lumber camp, one to gold, and two on farms, and put them on stragglers if you don't quite have the wood before farms. Feudal Age is when this build turns less into about getting units out immediately and more about into careful economy management. You'll want to go up to 16 farms and continue to finish your walls. A good way to remember 16 farms is a full pinwheel around your TC and four farms around your mill. 
After this, you'll want to go up to five more on gold, so you have eight total. From here, you want to be able to sneak in a blacksmith and a market to be able to click up. Ideally, you'll want to click around 18 minutes, but earlier is possible and preferable, so pay close attention. Once you've clicked up to Castle Age, you'll want to build your second barracks, pick up supplies, and get the necessary blacksmith upgrades. One thing I forgot to mention is that a full text post of this build will be in the linked in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out if you want to look at it while you follow along in your games. And that's the most of the build. From here, how you play early Castle Age is up to you. But you'll want to use your longsword power spike to hit pretty hard. Moving out with around eight long swords at the very start of Castle Age, I found is about possible and quite strong to establish a foothold on the enemy side of the map. From there, you can continue to flood across the map, get a siege workshop down, and continue the push. Maybe it's maybe it's worth it to pay a visit to them. Their infantry sucks, though. I'll be going like cold turkey from my infantry nonsense. They have halbs now? Wait, when did they get halbs? And, okay, and, and what? Pray tell. A post dip to tar two handed so it beats a post in Persian longsword. Hmm. So if this somehow they got helps two months post release. Interesting, interesting, okay. I don't remember them getting halves. That's really strange. I'm not sure why I'm like confused. Get in the crevice, girl. I'm going to bring this sheep back. <laughs> you and your girl crevices, Noel. I know. They're just so efficient. What can I say? There's a cow. Hopefully that's my single and I'm not abandoning. Okay, we'll just see. They're right there, so... That's four. Let's bring in a boar. My little brother, when he was still like really young, and he, okay, good, and he couldn't really pronounce words, would say ta uh, cows, towels. He'd call them towels. I thought it was the cutest thing. Girl, move. I think we can go scout our friend. Was that all my sheep? Are we sure? Look at that. How Look how efficient that mill is going to be. Three cows have more food than four sheep. Well, I, I know. I just wanted to make sure I didn't. I ate all four of my sheep under my t my starting sheep under my TC. I wasn't sure. also nice with cows. I really like longswords with cows actually because you can 
You don't have to do like an awkward thing with the berries. You get more food and faster. Onihashi, thank you for the resub. Happy to have you back. Eight months. He tried to dance. I think now I can. Oh, it's a drush. Wait. Why is the cow going all the way around like that? And then the drush leaves. Wow. So impactful. Although it did delay my up, my click, so. Pretty significantly too, actually. So it's the Persian super fast rush, right? My work here is done. <laughs> If y'all don't drop off that food. Okay, here we go. Oh, so bad. Good thing he had nothing under the TC. Thanks for leaving my, my villa alone. <laughs> High value drush. No, there's no planet on which you get him now. There is a special like early Persian Strush build. Um, survivalist made it up. That's how I know because I'm the biggest survivalist fan on the planet. Um, but yes, it's a, I, I feel like, can I just fight that now actually? My work here is done. Look at them go. That's right. Run. Run while you can. Beige, what's up? Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, we're headed over to them now. They're right here, actually. We're close. I didn't wall. Maybe I should do that. So I think his whole eco is like back here. So we'll have to go around. Oh, 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 double bit, double bit, double bit. Think you're slick. Think you're slick. Okay. Let's hit the gold. Ooh, let's get housed. I love that for us. Let's just see if he's open. Let's see if I can get in. Ah, oh, misclicked. Darn. <laughs> we'll get my scout. He accomplishes what I want him to. Why does that TC have 5 million range? Wait. I definitely thought I was out of range. OK, 
Okay, we need farms. I want horse collar. Okay, his whole eco is pretty safe, actually. I'm just going to hit that house. I don't think there's a whole lot I can accomplish. It's unfortunate he has a kind of a decent map here. Why did every villain in the universe... Oh, because I pulled him from berries. <laughs> You get back in here, sir. This gather point. This is 17 farms. I actually don't want this many. I want a wheelbarrow and go up. Have the blacksmith, okay. I'm gonna set this guy to just kinda run around the map, I think. Gimme the market wood blocks. There we go. Finish that off, I think. This gather point is killing me. How did I set that? I thought I fixed it like twice. Let's see, what time are we at? 18. So uh, we might be a little late on the... No, this click will be better than last game. Okay. He's definitely, he's almost definitely clicked already with that build. Um, just gonna idle the TC for a sec to get this. There. I did an archery range. Hmm. So the build I want to do, I do admit kind of struggles into open FC. Um, free supplies. Man, that's really nice, actually. Ironically enough, it's one of the builds that, like, struggles into an open FC. Okay, I actually don't want these to die. I'm just going to keep him. Committed Fletching. He's probably going to go Archers. That looks like two ranges. Maybe I lead him on a Wild Goose Chase. Come on. Yeah. So if he's going full Archers... I think I have no choice but to go like a siege defense actually, which means I need a lot more. I maybe I don't even go the second racks. But archers as Persians falls off like pretty hard the later you go. I don't know. I'm gonna keep up one racks long swords and we'll just see where it gets me. I'm going to build that here, and I want another TC here. Let's get eco upgrades first, though. I don't know. I'm not really sure what he has going on. It's a little, it's a little dicey. Get the second infantry armor just to see. And then I'll actually, I will want squires to chase down archers. Uh, I'm going to chill on the mango until I have eyes on. Oh, okay. Yep. Mango time. Oh, 
I'm paranoid. Okay. Yup. Okay, good thing I caught that. Should we go like this? It's mango time. If we go like this, I can trap him back here, actually. I love it. Nice. One mango is enough to be scary, I think. I'm not going to commit another. Get beat up by the bear. Oh, this is good for me. He's not paying attention. I got everything. For your service, bear, you will be given a noble death. I want that, TC. One wood. Come on, who's got it? Yay! What is he building? I think that mango got stuck forever. We pull back, we pull back, and we micro really hard. Cool. This is scary. These are scary numbers. They're almost fully upgraded too. Girl, come. I feel good about this game now. They aren't making more knights. I know, they're not building any more stables in the back. Okay, this is TC taking numbers. Eleven bills queued, by the way. I'm gonna put a gate here just to losing kind of a lot. I'm gonna pull back, help preserve numbers. Got a couple of bills. I need more barracks now. We can get a third TC also. I don't know what that is, but it's not going up. Prison TC strong. Oh, I forget. Yeah. 
But I really want those rangers. I know, I guess they're thinking archers now. Yeah, now they're kind of floundering. Siege. My bad gather, kind of actually doing good work right now. This is the disrespect barracks. This is the get out of my game barracks. No wood, I guess? We've got this, we've got this. Should go on stone, actually. With my 17 idols, wherever they are. Now to, for the next five million years, knocking down the Persian TC. <laughs> I know. Not enough farms in the world. I'm going to buy food. Fighting with the Vils. Oh my god. GG. <laughs> yeah, what was he protecting that whole time? He was fighting really hard here. There's nothing back here. I don't know. GG's.